today I'm going to show you how to install uh, the official Canon LUT. So first you want to go to the Canon USA website. You'll want to go to support, then go to software and drivers. Type in your camera model. Uh, in my case, it's uh, Canon R6. And then we'll go down here to software. Uh, right now, there's nothing shown because I didn't select my operating system. I currently have Big Sur installed, but for some reason, when I click that, it doesn't show any results down here. So um, if you go to Catalina, for some reason, it'll show you all these stuff. What you want is Canon Lookup Table version 2019-11. So click that, and then you'll see a download button here. You download to my desktop, and then right here, I'll unzip that. There you go, that's what I have. Inside of here, there's 3D LUT and 1D LUT. What you want is really a 3D LUT. Um, I found that 33 grid works the best. So there's all these stuff. I would just bring this into, hold on, let me close this out. I'm gonna open a new window, find my applications folder. You go here and then you find your Adobe Premiere Pro, whatever version you have. Uh, I would right click on the, uh, right click on the app, show package contents. Then you scroll down to Lumetri and then LUTs, open that. You want to put that in technical, not creative. Make sure it goes in technical. Um, so I would go back here and bring my, okay. So they're in here. So you want to close that out and then open your Premiere. Okay, so I have like a night scene over here. So um, let's say I want to apply the LUT that we just put in. You want to either uh, select the, the footage that you want to apply the LUT to or you could do um, adjustment layer. I will bring in an adjustment layer on top of the footage. And then um, input LUT, go over here under basic uh, correction. Also, you wanna be on the color tab so that the Lumetri color shows up. Okay, so go here, input LUT. Uh, we'll go to, because I shot this in BT709, um, I want to go from BT709 to 709 YDR. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm not using Canon Lock 2 or Canon Lock 3 because um, Canon R6 and R5 and EOS R and 5D Mark IV, they all uh, only shoot in Canon Lock, regular Canon Lock. Uh, Canon Lock 2 and 3 are different gamma curves uh, that's only available in Canon cinema lines. Just, so just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to apply uh, this one. So you can see, you can see that the color corrects itself. Let me show you uh, before and after by toggling. That's before, that's after. You can see the Lumetri scopes here. 
that's before and after so you'll see that it's um, it's expanding the highlights and shadows to fill up the full um, color space so that's basically how you do it just another thing to keep in mind is that um, it, there, there's two different options in R6 or, and probably R5. I don't have R5, but um, you can shoot in BT2020 or BT709 when you're in neutral mode. Um, if you shot in BT2020 for some reason, make sure you go from BT2020 to 709. Um, because most of us have regular monitors and regular monitors display your content in BT709 but if you shot in 2020 you want to go from 2020 to 709 that's the transfer function that you want to use um, the reason why it's there is because in the future uh, should you upgrade your monitor to HDR monitor you can go from BT2020 to BT2020 like you can keep all that color space um, that you captured in camera uh, you could output it as is without you know reducing it down to 709 that's why there's two different options here uh, so that's up to you I personally shoot everything in 709 um, just to make it easier but okay so that's how that's how that works I hope that helps you um, and I'll probably make more videos in the future like this. Let me know if it helps you out. Thank you very much.